So you were representing Ecuador in the deliberations in the open-ended working group and Ecuador and many of the Latin American countries were very active from their experience from banning nuclear weapons in Latin America. Do you think your inspiration and initiative from there is now being picked up by the rest of the world? Uh, yes, uh, actually I am very satisfied with this uh, open-ended working group, with this session, um, because I think uh, as we expressed in, in the session, uh, that um, convention uh, prohibiting nuclear weapons at this stage will reinforce the uh, multilateral uh, agreements so far, the NPT, the nuclear weapons for its own, and the CTBT and others. So, um, as we expressed, the uh, convention prohibiting nuclear weapons will be the first step towards a world without nuclear weapons. And um, I'm very happy to witness the high participation, very active participation of all delegations, and especially from our region, from Latin American and Caribbean states. Um, as you know, our region is um, uh, a peaceful region. Uh, we declared formally at the level of the heads of, of states a song of peace, all Latin America and Caribbean. Uh, and so we work very uh, actively and convincingly uh, for a world without nuclear weapons. Mm -hmm. So for us, this um, session has been a big success. Mm -hmm. yeah, all, all delegations have been engaged very actively in the discussion. We had the opportunity to have um, a set of uh, excellent uh, experts and panelists and we had the opportunity to uh, discuss in depth all aspects of nuclear disarmament. Mm -hmm. Now the nuclear armed states weren't here, so how do you think we, you, we collectively, governments and civil society, can encourage the nuclear armed states to take next measures for nuclear disarmament? Yeah, so I think uh, the umbrella states uh, have participated in this open-ended working group and uh, of course I think they will uh, transmit this message of this open-ended working group to the nuclear states. They will know how is the sentiment, how is the feeling now and um, I'm convinced that uh, with this outcome um, we will begin to change the mind of political leaders in this country with the help of the civil society uh, to change their mind and um, how one panelist said uh, to begin to, to uh, devalue the nuclear weapons because we have to um, understand very good this concept of devaluing the nuclear weapons and go to the humanitarian concept. Uh, now Ecuador hosted a side event uh, highlighting civil society actions and ideas. Uh, what did you think from that side event that civil society can do well? Yeah, um, uh, Ecuador uh, has uh, always supported the, the civil society because we are convinced that especially in this uh, aspect, in nuclear disarmament, the role of civil society or the civil society all around the world is crucial, is crucially fundamental um, to, to make an um, universal compromise in favor of the nuclear disarmament. The civil society has a very important role in uh, peace and disarmament education, in, the, um, <coughs> in, in taking the message to the uh, white public in these societies in order that this message could uh, get the minds of the political leaders. So I think from within these states, uh, nuclear states, uh, the civil society should continue working very actively and uh, with a great engagement um, towards a, a world without nuclear weapons. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> okay, you. It's my pleasure. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Thank you.